in 2016 weighed in on the deadly police shooting. Sure did. Both candidates spoke out today about the use of deadly force by officers. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan has the latest from the campaign trail now. Dave. Yeah, the shootings have actually unleashed a long list of racial issues that the candidates are having to address now. Tonight, the race issue in America has moved to the top of the campaign agenda, and it's focused on the racial views of the candidates and on their responses to the tension between some local police and minority communities after the deadly shootings by officers. The latest police shootings are reverberating on the campaign trail. Donald Trump suggested a female Oklahoma police officer may have choked when she fired at and killed a suspect who apparently was not resisting. This young officer, I don't know what she was thinking. I don't know what she was thinking, but I'm very, very troubled by that. Did she get scared? Did, was she choking? What happened? But maybe people like that, people that choke, People that do that, maybe they can't be doing what they're doing. At a black church in Cleveland, where, as you can see in this still photo, the sanctuary was filled with white supporters, and in this video, Trump conducted a pretend African-American town hall with only a few African-Americans present. Hillary Clinton called for a new national security standard for police using force. At a rally in Florida, she acknowledged the challenges for police while questioning the two recent police shootings in Tulsa and Charlotte. There is still much we don't know about what happened in both incidents, but we do know that we have two more names to add to a list of African Americans killed by police officers. Back at the Cleveland church, Trump met with a handful of sympathetic black pastors. Now, God, I ask that you would touch this man, Donald J. Trump. But Trump was overshadowed and introduced by legendary boxing promoter Don King, who got a big laugh from the white men behind him when he used the N-word. If you are intelligent, intellectual, you are intellectual, Negro. If you are dancing and sliding and gliding, I mean, ne Negro, <laughs> you are dancing and sliding and gliding, Negro. So dare not alienate because you cannot assimilate. So, you know, you're going to be a Negro till you die. At the Republican convention in July, where he was reuniting with Joe Piscopo, former star of Saturday Night Live, we asked Don King about the feeling among many African Americans. I mean, is Donald Trump a racist? No. Well, what he does is they, they say he's a racist, they say he's polarizing, they say he's that the, the divisiveness. No, he's just, he's an exposer. He is bringing it to the fore so you can get a chance to see it. Even Ray Charles can see it. You know what I mean? So you got, <laughs> he's bringing it out. You know what I mean? Because he's not a racist. You know what I mean? I've been knowing a man for 40 years. It was symptomatic of Trump's erratic attempt to woo black voters, delivered like Wednesday in Cleveland primarily to almost all white audiences. But he has turned down speaking invitations from the NAACP and other civil rights organizations. At the Cleveland Town Hall on Wednesday, carried by Fox News, Trump was asked what he would do to stop black on black crime. Well, one of the things I'd do, Ricardo, is uh, I would do stop and frisk. I think you have to. We did it in New York. It worked incredibly well. And you have to be proactive. And while the white audience applauded, the stop and frisk program was the target of multiple lawsuits, charging it gave police license to harass minorities. And New York dropped the very aggressive program when studies showed 83% of the stops in New York involved blacks and Latinos, who made up only about half the population of the city. In fact, the president of the National Urban League tonight said the idea of creating a national stop and frisk policy is the equivalent of declaring martial law. Other critics charged the program should be called Stop and Harass, charging it would make it open season to go after African Americans, Latinos, Muslims, and every other minority group for no legitimate reason. Lena?